The Indian Air Force is converting New Delhi into an impregnable fortress. Fighter jets, AWACS, drones and anti-aircraft missile systems will shield the Indian capital during the upcoming mega G20 meeting. The grand preparations for the G20 summit in New Delhi are in full swing. Global leaders including US President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak are set to rub shoulders with Indian PM Modi. So how is India making sure the mega global event goes off without a hitch? Will Pakistan and China attempt to disrupt the security situation in the region in an attempt to cast a shadow over the grand event in India? Let's dive into it. The Indian Air Force isn't taking any chances and securing the airspace over the Delhi National Capital Region. Security has been beefed up big time. The IAF has rolled out its fighter jets, missile systems, anti-drone tech and sensors all to make sure that the skies over Delhi NCR are secure. Frontline fighter aircraft like the French Rafale and Mirage 2000s along with Russian Sukhoi 30 MKIs will be up patrolling Indian skies. IAF has an arsenal of surface-to-air guided weapon systems including the medium-range surface-to-air missiles or MRSAMs and the indigenous Akash Air Defense Missiles for surveillance. The MRSAMs boast the capacity to intercept and neutralize a wide array of threats from hostile aircraft to helicopters to cruise missiles and drones all within a range of 70 kilometers. Additionally, India's Akash Air Defense Missiles possess an interception range of 25 kilometers. In the northern skies of the capital, India will also have its eyes in the sky. Airborne Warning and Control System or AWACS and the indigenous surveillance aircraft Netra are keeping watch, ensuring nothing sneaks by. In addition, multiple air bases in the region, including Ambala, Mareni, Sirsa, Batinda, Gwalior and others, have implemented the operational readiness platforms involving the strategic positioning of two or three fighter aircraft in blast pens adjacent to the runway for immediate takeoff. The G20 leaders' summit scheduled for the 9th to 10th of September will see 40 heads of state and several global organizations make their biggest participation ever in the history of G20. The event will be attended by several significant world leaders, along with Biden and Sunak, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will grab the headlines.